How you doing everybody? Just want to share this with y'all. Everything isn't what you think it is. That's why you got to um, study and research. So this is National Geographic, July 1975, volume, volume 148, number one. And the topic is Benjamin Franklin, who we know was, is credited as being one of the founding fathers of America. Now, recently we have uh, did some studies in regards to democracy and the things that Benjamin Franklin really stood for and what he really believed. We also found out about his um, his Quran because the teachings and the belief that they that these people um, people hold to is really the the Quran is is Islam. Um, and Islam goes back to the worship of of Lucifer ultimately. They hold to the Luciferian doctrine. So, if we pick up right here, it says, Franklin drank deep of the Protestant ethic and then, discomforted by church constraints, became a free thinker. All of his life, he kept Sundays free for reading, but would visit any church to hear a great speaker. So, he, he wanted to hear motivational speeches. No doubt recognizing a talent he himself did not possess. With typical honesty and humor, he wrote out his creed in 1790, the year he died. I believe in one God. Now you may be saying, okay, yes, he, see, he, was, he was a Christian, creator of the universe, but who is his one God? It's not the Lord that we serve. Um, that the most acceptable service we render him is doing good to his other children so he believed in a works based gospel not meaning that we aren't supposed to do good works but he specifically believed in a works based gospel and just doing good as to Jesus I have some doubts as to his divinity he did not believe that Christ was God manifested in the flesh though it is a question I do not dogmatize upon having never studied it and I think it needless to busy myself with it now when I expect soon an opportunity of knowing the truth with less trouble so he wrote this the year he died he was saying that you know I'm not too much worried about studying um, if Jesus is who he said that he claimed to be God manifested in the flesh. I'm not too much worried about that. It's not really my concern because I will find out. I will, I will have an opportunity knowing the truth with less trouble very soon because he was about to die. So he did not believe in the divinity of Christ. He was not completely convinced. So you could say he was neither for it or he was neither against it, which means that he was against it. Benjamin Franklin. We had to also, uh, he had the Hellfire Club and all these other things. So I just wanted to share this video with y'all. Uh, drop some more knowledge on you that the people, what they have taught us in the schools and everything is not true. They have told us what they want to tell us to paint these men in such a, a positive light that they can pretty much do no wrong in their eyes.